Hello, my brother Eduardo Torres. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good, sir. How was your day at work today? Okay. It was okay? Yes. All right, all right, all right. Beautiful, beautiful, man. Good evening, teacher. It, it's raining? Oh, you said good evening. <laughs> I thought you said it's raining, teacher. Hey, good evening, Jorge. Thank you for being here. Rocio, okay. thank you for being here. Remember to turn on your cameras, guys. Uh, Eduardo, so what do you do for a living, Eduardo? Sorry, teacher. That's okay, man. So what do you do for a living? Eduardo? Uh, All right. Um, what do you do for a living? You don't know? Do you know what it means? Uh, I am live, living in a popa. No, okay. Hold on. I'm going to teach you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So I asked. All right. I asked this. What do you do for a living? Repeat, guys. What do you do for a living? What do you do, do for a living? All for right. Living. This means, guys, de que trabajas, okay? Write it down. Write it down, okay? Oh, so what? Okay. De que trabajas? Am, de que trabaja usted? I am the same. Okay. Yeah, like de que vivís, huh? Yeah, exactly. What? What do you do, Eduardo? I am the senior graphic. Oh, you work at you work in graphic design. Awesome. Graphic design. Hey, that's pretty yes, cool, man. Yes, work in Photoshop, Illustrator, Page nice. nice, nice, nice. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. All right. What about you, Jorge? What do you do for a living? I am uh, uh, from analyst. Oh, you're a programmer. Yeah. Nice. Jesus Christ, you guys are pretty cool. I wish I was yeah. a programmer, man. That's that's one of the is it is it difficult to learn programming? Uh so, so, teacher. A little bit? A little bit. Okay. I I will learn programming, you know. I like it. Oh. I wanna I'm gonna buy a course of C. Online. Oh. And database? No. What? SQL Server? Database? Um, I'm going to focus on C++ right now. I have no idea about databases right now. Okay. I'll focus on one thing first and then move on. Because I like it. I want to make me I want to make video games. <laughs> okay. So yes. good. Hey, beautiful, man. Beautiful. Jimmy, okay, what thanks. about you? What do you do for a living? I am quality assured. You're a Q, a quality assured. You're a QA. Right? You're yes. a QA agent, okay. Awesome, man. Atigo, right? Uh, no. Bank. Not Atigo? Agricola Bank. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Hey, I got a Bank or Agricola account, man. I'm going to call you for any issues. <laughs> Scary, <laughs> man. All right, what about you? Oh, Luis, I know that, that you practice martial arts, right? Uh, awesome. Yes. But I, I work in, in a consulting manager project. Oh, okay. You're a consultant. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. What about you, Lisbeth? What do you do for a living? I live in a pharmacy. Oh, you work at a pharmacy, I in, okay? I work in a pharmacy. I All right. In pharmacy. Beautiful. And what about you, Juan Francisco Ayala? What do you do for a living? One, one, one. No one. All right. Uh, Jocelyn. I didn't see you, Jocelyn. What do you do for a living, Jocelyn? Um, I work in the human resource. Oh, you work in you work in human resources for what company? Uh, Tigo. No. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody worry. Last time, guys. I'm sorry. Last, <laughs> last everybody was coming from Tigo. All right. So that's why I'm. So well, for what company? Uh, Galvaniza. Galvaniza. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Hey, that's awesome. That's a, that's a 
That's a I hardware pay, store, right? Yeah, I pay uh, salaries. Oh, you pay salaries. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, we got the boss over here. <laughs> Good job, Jocelyn. Good job. Uh, Rocio, what about you, Rocio? What do you do for a living? Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I am work in Tigo. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I work. Repeat. I work at Tigo. I work at Tigo. Uh -huh. uh, in, in, in this area, area, uh, human resource. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, human resources, everybody. All right, guys. So uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for being early. Uh, pretty nice to see you. Emperatriz, welcome, Emperatriz. Hold on, guys. Emperatriz, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Imperatriz. Everybody, hail. Hail, Imperatriz. Hail, guys. Hail, guys, is uh, saludar, pero de una forma super formal, como a una reina. Everybody say, hail. Hail. Hail, hail, hail. to the queen. <laughs> no. <laughs> hail to the queen, right? Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Juan Francisco, welcome, sir. Jacqueline, nice to see you, Jacqueline. How are you? How was your day? Oh, your microphone is not working. Really? Oh, now now we can hear you, yes. Okay, my my day was a little exciting. Um, all right, all right. Your 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 sound is cutting off for some reason, so I don't know what happened to your sound, but but thank you for being here early. Uh, sí, se te está acordando un montón. I don't know what's going on. All right, so guys, uh, let's move on, guys. Let's move on from uh, where we left off yesterday. Teacher. Tell me. And what about you? What do you do for a living? What, what do I do for a living? <laughs> yes. Um, I try to entertain you. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I tell you, you already know me. I told you that I work at Telus uh, as an as an as a language specialist, and I work here too. And I'm also working at, well, I'm not really working now, but I I am covering classes when they need me at E4CC. So I got like three jobs right now. Um, but um, yeah, that's what I do. I like it. Uh, like it, like it, yeah. And do you speak the different language? Mm, yeah, if I speak Portuguese, também, porque eu morei no Brasil. So yeah, I speak Portuguese too. <laughs> but that's that's a different story, man. I speak Portuguese because um, when I was 23, I was gonna marry a Brazilian girl, so I lived there for a while. And I learned Portuguese like like a lot. Like I learned Portuguese like like very fluently, and, and then things didn't work out. So, but I, I did get to learn Portuguese, right? So, you know, positive things come out of uh, negative situations. <laughs> so yeah, man, I had some adventures that I could talk to you about, but I need to teach you. <laughs> so guys, let's let's move on, right? Super good, guys. So guys. Uh, who finished the whole uh, section? Me, teacher. Me. Me. Is there anyone who did not finish the whole section? Hay alguien que no la terminó? Yes, no, maybe. No, okay, beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, so... Um, did we already see questions with, um, yeah, we already, we already uh, saw this. Okay, did you finish this exercise? Yes. 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 All right, now I'm gonna help you guys. I told you that I was gonna help you solve the, uh, the exercises, okay? So who wants, to, who wants to help me with the first one, guys? What is the answer for the first one? Me, teacher. Me, teacher, Jimmy. Jimmy, let's go, Jimmy. So, what is the answer for number one? He was born in Spain. 
Okay, he was born in Spain. Beautiful job. All right, number two, uh, pick someone, Jimmy. Pick someone. Pick someone happy. Okay, uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. All right, Jocelyn. Number two. Answer. The answer. All right, repeat, guys. Answer. Answer. Beautiful. Answer. Right? Yes. Oh, only answer. answer. Um, where in France? Where in France? Okay, right. Uh, you should say my parents were in France. Okay, good job. Good job, Jocelyn. Uh, Jocelyn, pick someone who likes, you know what? What's your favorite, what's your favorite actor? Mm, my favorite actor is um, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, okay. The breathtaking guy, okay. Uh, Melvin, you look like Keanu Reeves. Let's go, number three. <laughs> Um, what is grammatically correct answer to the question? Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. I, I was born in Peru. Uh, I was born in Mexico, I eh? huh? I wasn't born in, in Peru. Peru. Very good job. I wasn't born in Peru. Okay, very Peru. good. All right, number four. Pick someone. Pick someone uh, who looks like. Scarlett Johansson. Patty de Arena. What? Patty de Arena. Okay, let's go. I, I didn't understand any. Patty de Arena, right, let's go. Hi. Number four. Number four. My wife uh, and I were, were in Mexico. Beautiful job, beautiful job, because it's many, right? And last one, uh, let's see, Rocio, number five, Rocio. Okay, the, the English quiz, the English quiz was a little difficult. Was a little difficult, difficult, very good job. All right, guys, so let me ask you something, all right? So did you all understand the difference between was and where? When we use was and where? Can family. we use was when we talk about, uh, for person. example, me and one person, and where when we talk about um, many, many other persons? Good question. Okay. All right. So, how how do we call these guys? How do we call these things? I, he, she, it. How do we call it? Fair, first and third person. Personal pronouns. Repeat, guys. Personal pronouns. Personal pronouns. Okay, now, these are, okay, these are singular, write it down in your notebook, singular personal pronouns. Okay? Singular personal pronouns. Exactly. Why are they singular? Because they refer to just, just one thing, right? One thing, one person, one animal. Good? So far, is it good? Good. Yes. All right. Yes. So I, he, she, it. Whenever we use that, we are gonna use was or wasn't. What are we gonna use, guys? Was or was. 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 Okay. Was. All right. So let's uh let's get some examples. All right. I was born in uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what if I want to say it in third person? Is it he were born or he was born? He was. He was born. He was born. He was born. In Mexico, right? Let's say in Mexico. Uh, what else? What else can we say regarding this? He was born. Can we use anything else other than than uh, born? How can I say llegó tarde a clase? O ellos, ellos llegaron tarde a clase. How do you say that? They arrived uh, late uh, uh, in to class. Okay, uh, now repeat, guys. Late. They were they were they late were late for class. Okay, for class. class. All right. Now, how can we say uh, nosotros tenemos 30 años? How do we say that? How, how do I say that? We are. We were. We, are, we, we were. were so we, were. Teníamos, we were, right? We were uh, we 30, were. Years, 30 old. years old. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. 
all time. All right, now we're just thought, we're just working with the example of being born here, guys. So we don't make this more complicated. Just be be clear, be um be aware, guys, that we have more verbs that we can use this with. Okay, it's just that um, we're not practicing with those verbs. Now, guys, there are some exceptions with conditional, but we're not gonna talk about that. Just let me tell you that you can say if he were. All right, this is possible, guys, but that's advanced, okay? That's intermediate intermediate uh, English, like advanced intermediate English. You're gonna see later on, but don't worry right now, guys, because you just just uh, remember that you can say I was or they were, okay? Any other question regarding this topic, guys? Teacher. Any no, other teacher. question? No, 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 no. All right, no. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's get some practice, guys, before we move on to the next topic, okay? So I want everybody to answer this question, all right? I want you to answer when, when was each of your family members born? Repeat, guys, when was each of your family members born? When was each of your members born? All right. Example. You can say, well, my mom was born in uh, 19, 1953. My dad was born, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my, um, my grandma was born in... And you give me the example, okay? All right, so just talk about your family members, guys. I'll give you five minutes and then we come back. Got it? Got it. Got it, got it, got it. All right, let's go. Got it. Let's go. All right, so everybody join, please. Okay. All right, let me. We're, guys. we're going to practice. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're going to practice. No, when was each of your family members born? Uh, mm -hmm. In my case, uh, my mom was born in 1949. Yes. And. My sister, were, my sister was born in 1970. Beautiful, continue. And Lino? Okay, good evening. Uh, okay, in my case, my mom was born in 19... 1958. All right, do me a favor. Repeat. Born. Okay. Repeat. Born. born. All right. You born. gotta. You gotta, you gotta make that that end sound at the end, guys. Okay. Okay. My mom was born in 1958. Nah. You're saying born. All right. All right. Born. born. Say born now. Say born now. Say, repeat, Borna. Borna. All right, now, don't say ah, just say born. Born. Beautiful, man, beautiful. That's how you pronounce it. My mom was born in 1958. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, continue, guys, continue. Okay. Um, 
los I want to rhyme uh, if the teacher asks me <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> what, what are you what are you talking about? <laughs> about the teacher. We are talking about the teacher. What about what uh, about the teacher? Rocio, don't say nothing about it, okay? <laughs> What are, you, <laughs> what are you talking about the teacher? <laughs> no, nah, nothing, nothing. I was kidding. <laughs> I, I got it, don't worry. I have heard things before, believe me. But not bad things. I have, I have heard good things before in other classes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all, right, so, all right, practice though, practice, okay? Okay, we'll practice then. The... My dad was born. Me te acordaste. No Spanish. My children are older than me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You good, guys? Very good. Yeah. We good. We talk about how their children are older than me. Okay. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. All right. Let's I get back now. Better than you too. Okay. Teacher, you have the mute. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. All right, guys, do me a favor and take a screenshot of this, uh, which is something that we saw, well, these previous days, guys. Hold on. All right, take a screenshot of this, guys. It's just a structure, okay, so you don't forget. Write it down in your notebook or, uh, or take a screenshot. doesn't matter. All right. So how do we make questions, all right? Let's review, guys, okay? It's what we saw what we saw on Tuesday, all right? So now, what if I want to make a yes-no question? Who can, who, can, who can help me with a yes-no question, guys? Who wants to try? Me, me teacher. All right, do me a favor. Everybody send me a, WH, a yes or no question in the chat room using the structure that we have here. I want to make sure that you learn how to make those questions, all right? Meanwhile, uh, Rocio, give me a yes, no question, Rocio. No, yes, program. Give me a yes, no question. Make me a yes, no question. Okay. Uh, um... Hey, relax, relax the muffin, don't worry, right? It's on the screen, it's on the screen. Okay. Um, I know how I idea, teacher. I know how I idea. All right, don't relax. Okay, first you have to relax. It's here, the answer, it's here. Do you see the screen? Yes. All right, now give me, give me the question. Remember, a yes no question is a question where the answer will, will always be yes or not, or no, okay? okay. So ask me a question. Okay. And everybody else, I need you to send me the question too. Where you burn, where? Very good. Where burned your girlfriend? Hold on, all right, focus, focus. Uh, where, uh... Where was born your girlfriend? Okay, no, all right. Now think, all right, the thing guys is that you get nervous and you don't see these. I want you to see this. All right, can you see this? So this is what you have to follow. If you follow this, you're not gonna make a mistake, Rocio. All right, so try one more time. Okay, was a Peter? Beautiful. Um, and the other bird. The other thing could be anything. Was Peter handsome? Was Peter a boy who got lost? Was Peter Peter Pan from the book? I don't know. OK, 
que was Peter um, five, four, three. <laughs> was Peter what? Um, playing the park. Playing what? Playing soccer in the park. Playing soccer. Okay, good job. Playing playing soccer, and I didn't understand the rest, but very good. Was Peter playing soccer? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Applause for Rocio, guys. Good job, all right? Now, who can give me an example using where? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Let's Me go, teacher. Jackie. Jackie. Where your siblings ate pizza yesterday? Okay, so... Where your siblings eat or eating? Eat? Eating. No, eating. eating. All right, in this case, that would be eating, right? This is called okay. a past continuous. All right, so okay. where are your siblings eating pizza? Yesterday. All right, pizza yesterday, okay? Beautiful. Applause for Jacqueline, guys. Good job, Jackie. All right, yes, all right. Go, go, go. Was Roberto running in the park? Was Roberto, repeat guys, running. Running, running. running. In the park, okay? Running. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Beautiful, guys. Thank you guys because now that you gave me the three questions, you guys are going to answer them, okay? In five seconds, okay? So be ready. All right, let's start with Lino. Lino, was Peter playing soccer? Five. Remember, I taught you I taught you how to answer, guys. Yes, he was, no, he wasn't. Yes, they were, no, they weren't, right? Yes. All right. I needed to give me a long answer. I like uh was was Peter playing soccer yesterday? No, he wasn't. He was playing with the, with with his dolls, right? I don't know. All right, Solino, three, two, one. Was Peter playing soccer? Lino, five, yes. four, three. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. No, okay. We're talking about Peter, not you. Where? All right, no point for Lino. All right. Jimmy, was Peter playing soccer yesterday? Uh, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Good job. Okay, point for, for Jimmy. All right, let's continue. Jimmy, uh, were you siblings eating pizza yesterday? Um, yes, they... Five, four, three, two, and to stop it. Sorry. Rocio. <laughs> me, teacher. Me, Emperatriz. All right, let's go, Emperatriz. Let's go. Uh, uh, hold yes. On, hold on. <laughs> All right, Emperatriz, was Roberto running in the park? Uh, yes, he wasn't. Yes, he wasn't. Ah, yes, he was. All right. No, you combine. You said, yes, he wasn't. It's either. Sorry, yeah. Me too, sir, Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel, let's go, Gabriel. All right, Gabriel. Um, was your mom cooking yesterday? Yes, she was. Very good. Yes, she was. Good job. You got one point. Um, <laughs> where were your brothers playing video games yesterday? Yes, they was. Yes, they were. Okay, two Sorry. points. Okay, um, was was your uh, was your girlfriend cheating on you? Um, yes, she was. Okay, three. Very good. Okay, um, were you in your house yesterday? Five, four, three. I was. Okay, yes, I good was. job. Four points. Okay. Um, was your best friend buying pizza for you yesterday? No, she was. Yes, he was. Oh, he, no, he was. Send. No, ah, very good. Ah. Man. <laughs> for Gabriel, five points. Good job, no, man. All was. right. Good job. Uh, I was going to say Rocio. All right, Rocio. Okay, Rocio. Um, were, you, were you home yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay, was your brother home yesterday? No, I wasn't because I don't have a brother. Ah, no, he. <laughs> no, no, he, he wasn't. wasn't. Okay, right, one point there. Okay, 
All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Patty. All right, Patty. Were you in the supermarket yesterday? Patty, five, four, no, I wasn't. three, two. No, I wasn't. All right. No, was I your wasn't. Was your husband with another girl yesterday? Five, four, three, yes, two, one. No. A boy. All right. No, he wasn't. Or yes, he was. No, he wasn't. All right. Beautiful, guys. No, he Beautiful. wasn't. All right. Now I'm gonna ask you questions with with well, WH questions, guys. Okay. So what is the okay. WH question? Where, who, what, when, and why? Now everything else is the same, guys. Notice something. Esto es lo mismo que esto, guys. La única diferencia es que le agregas una WH. Got it? Okay. Got it, got it, got it? All yes. right. So, yes, I got it. where was, let's see, uh, Jacqueline? All right, Jackie. Jackie, where was your boyfriend yesterday? Where was? And he was in her work. Okay, he was at work. Okay, repeat. okay, at work. Repeat, guys. He was at work. He was at work. Preposition, at work. right? Preposition, all right? Just the preposition. Everything else was good. All right, okay. Marta. Uh, who was your best friend when you were when you were a kid? Um, my my best friend is. Um, your name is Alice. Your name? Uh, her, my my name, is her name Her name is Alice. All right. No, all right. No. Okay. All right. So my, my, my best friend when I was a child was Alice. All right. So that's the type of answer. Jocelyn. All right, Jocelyn. What was your pet's name? Jocelyn, five, four, you're <laughs> muted, you're muted, three, you're muted, Jocelyn, <laughs> is that a mute? No. <laughs> so, what is the answer? Sorry. Uh-huh. My first uh, name was um, Black. Okay, my, my pet's name was Black, okay? Good job, good job. Applause for Jocelyn, guys. Good job, guys. Beautiful, beautiful job. All right. So, is everything clear so far, guys? Everything clear? Todo, todo claro, guys, hasta ahora? Ready to get a 10 in the exam? All right, guys. So let's move on, guys. Let's, you're going to get a 10, guys. All right. Let's move on, guys. And let's answer yes, this teacher. real quick. Okay. So let's start with, uh, oh, my God, Jacqueline, where are you? <laughs> what, what, are, what is that? Oh, that's your notebook? Is that your notebook? All right. Parece como que tuve tu... Tenía un manto encima. All right, uh, Eduardo, let's go, Eduardo. Give me the answer for number one. Okay. Uh, where you were a student in high school? Yes, I was. Yes, I was, okay. All right, number two, uh, Emperatriz. Number two. Yes. Uh, let me check. Please. Your, your, uh, your, uh, the first one, you were born in this city. All right, guys, what do you think? Do you agree with her? No. Uh, no. No, oh, guys, it's not correct. Uh, it's a question, right? Uh, yes, it's a question. No, the, were you born in this city? The, La number, the number three? Number three, okay. Were you born in this city? 
All right, beautiful, All right? Number three now. Uh, Gabriel Armas. Let's go, give me okay. the answer. Uh, uh, let me see. Math and science. What were your favorite subject in school? Uh -huh. The first. Okay, what were your favorite subjects in school? Beautiful. All right, number four, Juan. Um, me, teacher. Go. When was Peter born? Was where? Where were you born? You mean? Where were you born? Okay. Oh, or when was Peter born? I'm sorry. And this, this one, where when was you born? born? All right, guys. So this is incorrect. Where were you born? How old were you in 19? Okay, this should be. Teacher, sleeping. All right, it's me, guys. Okay, so here you got your answers. All right. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. So this one, guys, is something that I will love to teach you. So help me read the objective, guys. Who wants to help me read the objective? Me, teacher. Me Nobody? Teacher. All right, go yes. for it. Go for it. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answers with use to. Learn English phrases like, I used to be very miss messy when I was a kid, but now I am very neat. And I didn't use to follow politics but now i read the newspaper every day and oral english comprehension exercise is included all right beautiful man nice pronunciation good job guys so used to all right so pay close attention guys because this is a very important topic no, I don't have it. all right guys so so let me let me start explaining here. All right, guys. So used to. What do we use it for? Does anybody have any idea what we use this for? No. Okay. So write it down in your notebook. Things that we had or didn't have that now we do or we don't, okay? Cosas que tenías o no tenías, que ahora tenés o no tenés. Got it? All right, so let's see. Jocelyn. All right, Jocelyn, tell me something that you had when you were a kid that now you don't have. Um, I have the... I have, I had. I have, I had. The new car. <laughs> you had a what? The new car. A new girl? No, car. You had a car? Yes. Okay, so when you were a kid, cuando tenías, era una niña, tenía un carro. No. Eso tengo ahora, cosa que no tenía antes. <laughs> okay. All right, so when she was a child, all right, no car, right? Now that she is an adult, all right, she has, mm -hmm. she has a car, all right? Beautiful. Uh, who else, guys? Who else wants to tell me something that they had or didn't have when they were kids, but now you do? Nothing else? Or some things that you used to do, guys, Things that you did in the past that you regularly did and now you don't do. For example, okay, when I was a child, I 
played uh, I played basketball every day. As an adult, I don't. Got it? So what about you, Gabriel? Give me an example. Something that you you did regularly okay. in the past, but now you don't. Okay. Um, when I was a child, I go. I went to school. Okay. All right. And so child. And now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Went to school every day, right? Every day. Yeah. And as an adult. Not you don't. Okay. All right, guys. Used to, guys, it means solia. All right? So let's transform these sentences, guys. So, for example, you can say, um, I used to go to school. Coma, but now I don't. And you can even add things, guys. Now I, you can even add an explanation. How do we add an explanation? What word do you use to add a, 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 an explanation, guys? To add a reason. We use because. We use? Everybody, what do we use? Because. Because, okay. Uh, but now I don't because I work, all right? So far, so good? So far, so good? Good. All right, beautiful. All right, help me read the first example. Who wants to help me read the example, guys? Somebody help me read the example. Me, teacher. Go, go, go. <clears throat> uh, I used to be very messy, but now I am very neat. Beautiful. All right. What is the meaning of messy, guys? Messy is desordenado. Mm -hmm. Neat is like uh, mm -hmm. limpio, ordenado, right? Beautiful. All right. Uh, continue. Continue reading. Now, let's let's continue reading the question. All right. Okay. Did you used to call it things? Uh huh. Continue. Yes, I used to call it coming books. No, I didn't used to call it anything, but now I call it art. All right, next one. Me what? teacher. Okay. Go, go, go. Me teacher, what go. sport do you to use to play? I never used to use it to play a sport, but I'll not I play tennis. Repeat guys, used. You used. used. Oh, okay, guys. Okay, so let's explain all of that, guys, okay? So I want you guys to write down in your notebook right now, guys. I'm going to give you two minutes to write down the structure, okay? Then I'll explain it to you. So let's write it down, guys. I'll give you two minutes. All right, meanwhile... I'm going to ask one of you. Okay, Jocelyn. All right, Jocelyn. Um, question for you. All right, following the structure, Jocelyn. All right, give me one sentence following the structure, and I want you to talk about Chayanne. <laughs> All right, let's start. The subject is going to be Chayanne, okay? So tell me about Chayanne. Tell me about the actions that he did in the past that he doesn't do anymore. He um, was... Don't say he, say Chayanne. Chayanne. Uh, Chayanne. Chayanne um, used... Um, Dent. No, remember... I, I want you to take a look at this. All right, take a look at this and just follow the structure. Chayanne guys, used to... no es que no podamos, guys, no da pena, right? Que no te pena. Don't worry, if you make mistakes, it's okay. But follow this structure right here, okay? So Chayanne... Still play guitar. A question. No, it's not a question, it's a statement, okay? 
Oh, so Cheyenne? Here. Cheyenne used to sing in the park. Very good job. Cheyenne used to sing in the park. Okay, now guys, are we talking about the present or the future here? Did this happen in the present or did this happen in the future? What do you think? Yeah. I mean, did, did, did this happen, present, sorry, present. This happen present. in the present or the past, guys? The past. Present teacher. Present. Oh, guys, the past. The past. The past. The past. I used to. This, this used to, guys, in Spanish is solía. Chayam solía cantar en el parque. Got it? Got it. Got it. Yes. It's all right. Present. Now, the verb here, guys, this verb has to be in the present. It's the same as in Spanish. Because in Spanish, you would say, uh, Chayan solía cantar. Cantar en presente, right? In the park, okay? All right, beautiful. So let's talk about Shakira. Who likes Shakira? Me, me yeah. Emperatriz, teacher. All right, Emperatriz, give me an example about Shakira then. <laughs> uh, Shakira used to, used to be poor. Poor? Poor. Uh -huh, poor. Now... Uh, but now she but now uh, she she used to be rich I no, think. <laughs> but now she used to be rich no rich no 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 remember guys dinero? when you say yeah. used to what is the meaning of used to guys Solia. 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 Solia, Solia. Solia, right so guys yeah, you have to contrast it in español no dirías Shakira solía ser pobre pero ahora solía ser rica Oh, okay. Got it? Well, now she is rich. Now it's but, rich. But now she is rich, okay? Beautiful, right? Pero ahora es rica. All right, beautiful. All right, beautiful. So, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, who wants to give me another example, guys? Me teacher, me teacher, let's go. Me teacher, me teacher Gabriel. Gabriel, let's go. Give me an example. Let's talk about um, Tony Tomate. <laughs> I don't know why. Tony Tomate used to play very well. Okay. But but now not. But now he He's not. Uh, doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, beautiful. Applause for you guys. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Now, everybody, do me a favor. I want you all guys to send me an example in positive, okay? Send me the same examples, guys. The same examples that, that we were doing right now. Send them to the chat room here in Zoom, okay? So, same examples. All right, meanwhile, guys, we're going to talk about making questions. But uh, let me ask you something, guys. Did you all understand? Hay alguien, guys, a quien no le ha quedado totalmente claro todo? I'm sorry, what? Um, an example. Um, mm -hmm. Me, I used to watch a lot of television. Um, uh huh. When I was a child. When I was a child. Repeat, guys. When I was a child. 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 All right. The chair. All right. You're missing something. Siempre que me decís, yo solía hacer algo, me tenés que decir el contraste. Pero ahora, right? But now. Uh -huh. um, but now. Work. A lot of work. But now I have a lot of work. Good job. All right. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Applause, guys. Good job. Somebody mm -hmm. said teacher, guys. Who said teacher? me preguntó? ¿Quién dijo teacher, guys? Me, teacher. Lino. Tell me, Lino. Okay. Este. Eh... Don't say este. No Spanish. <laughs> Uh, I wanna 
I wanna uh, know uh, my example is correct or incorrect. Sure. Uh, Freddie Mercury used to sing to wedding dress. Is correct? Freddie Mercury used to sing used what? Used to sing to wedding dress. Wearing a dress. Yes, it's correct. The only okay. thing that you're missing is the article okay. here. But everything else is good, okay? okay. Jocelyn, you're, 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 uh, you're missing one example. So tell me your example, Jocelyn. Um, my sister used to do um, um, Hit you? Walk, walk, walk. To what? Um, walk. My sister used to walk. Um, in the street. In the street. But. But now. Now. now um, she. She's the room. She's what? She's the room. You mean she runs? Run. Run. But now she runs. Okay. Good job. Good structure. Uh, we need a little bit more vocabulary, but good job. Hey, guys, very well done. Very well done. All right, I'm going to check your, uh, your answers in a bit, guys. Now, guys, how do you make a question? All right, guys, let me ask you something. In simple present, guys, in any tense, what happens, what happens with a sentence, guys? What if I want to make, what if I want to make a question in simple present? All right. Uh, how do I make a simple present question? How do you start with the structure? What do you need at the beginning? The auxiliary. Uh, auxiliary. Very good. All right. You need auxiliary. All right. Beautiful. You need auxiliary. All right. Yes, then, okay. then what else? What else? Mm. Subject. All right, plus subject. Good job. Plus what else? Used to. Er. All right. Now, now here, guys, used to. Okay. Now, remember, what happens with the what happens with the auxiliary with did, guys? When you use did, did. what does did, it do? To, what, what does it do to the verb? So what will be the present of used to? Simple. Used, used to. to. All right. To. Very good. All right. Very. All right. And then what else? Verb in present. Verb. Okay. Verb in present. All right. And then what? Plus complement. Complement. Plus complement. Good job, guys. Plus, we're missing something. Mark. Question mark, okay? Question mark. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful, all right? Now, uh, who, can, who can give me an example of a question, guys? Teacher, go. Following the structure. Uh, let's see. Jacqueline. Give me a question following the structure. Jacqueline, you there? All right, she might be busy. Uh, Marta, give me an example of a question. Mm -hmm. did, did Frank used to? Beautiful. Did Frank used to? Uh, play? play? Play tennis. Tennis. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Applause for Marta. Beautiful job, Marta. Thank hey, you. guys. Applause, applause, guys. Come on. All right. Applause, 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 applause. All right. Now, a beautiful job, guys. Beautiful. Now, what if I, um, what if I want to make a negative sentence? Guys? What if I want to say... Uh, no solía jugar, uh, jugar fútbol. How can I say that? 
Me teacher. I didn't, I didn't play me teacher. Liz. I Liz. didn't used to. Used to, used to has to be in present, guys. I didn't used to play soccer, okay? So the structure goes subject plus what else? Plus? Plus what? Didn't. Didn't. Plus, plus used to. I mean, yeah, used to, I used to. Plus verb in present. Plus Plus compliment. Plus compliment and mouth. Oh, no. All right, guys. Beautiful. All right, guys. So let me let me let me um, ask you. From one to ten, how much did you understand? Do you think it's clear, Patty? From one to ten, how much did you understand, Patty de Herrera? You. Yes, from one to um, ten, how much did you understand? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I understand. Uh, you say you say two in the simple present question. Um, verb in present. Okay. All right. What I was asking you is like to give me a score of how much you understood. But um, but okay, all right. Thank you very much, Patty. Right. Did everybody else understand, guys? Do, or do you have a question? Question, question, yes, question. I understand. All right, beautiful. Uh, Jocelyn? Everything good, Jocelyn? Very good. All right, Imperatriz? Uh, teacher, I understand that the the you the I had the verb used to um it that verb uh, always has the auxiliar do and do um or sometimes uh, that that verb uh, I'm going to use with the with was and and where for for example it's correct if I say um, did you watch, did you used to watch cartoon when you was a child? When you were a child. Yeah, that's uh -huh. perfect. That, that is perfect. That's what, we're, uh -huh. that's what I was teaching you right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is correct. Yes, the structure is here, guys. If you want to take a picture, go ahead and take a picture, right? Take a screenshot. The structure of a negative statement is here. The positive statement is here as well, all right? All right then. All right, so that concludes guys this topic. Uh, on Monday, we're gonna have like talking practice about this. Um, guys, you're supposed to have finished the platform for today. I want everybody guys to send me a screenshot that you have the platform at a 100%. So you need to finish this exercise and you're gonna finish. Uh, you're gonna finish this too, okay? Todo lo que les, se lo puedo decir en español, guys. Todo lo que les acabo de explicar, guys, está en este video y también está en este video. Las dos cosas: cómo hacer preguntas y cómo hacer oraciones en presente, y, eh, perdón, en, en positivo y negativo con used to. Alright? Así que ya, ya pueden responder las dos partes del examen. Recuerden, guys, el progreso. Quien no me haya mandado el progreso, guys, te puede estar preguntando. ¿Qué pasó? Porque necesito que el progreso de esta sección sea 100% para esta semana, ¿ok? Tienen hasta mañana, guys, para enviarme ese screenshot lo que no me lo han enviado. ¿Got it? Got it. Right. Si, si, no no si algo no les queda claro, guys, uh, yo no muerdo. Uh, mañana es mi día libre en todos los trabajos. Así que, así que pregúnteme si quieren, ¿ok? Uh, uh. Le voy a responder. <ríe> yo soy esta como... Uh, no, me pueden preguntar, guys. Si okay, me pueden preguntar, no hay problema. Yo les ayudo. Tomorrow. I... What? Tomorrow, um, I go to the work. Oh, she goes to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, but it's all good, guys. Okay? All right, guys. So, uh, class is over, guys. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, it's been really nice to see you today. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I'll see you on Monday. Be early and um, 
bless you guys. Take care of yourself. Thank you. 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 Good night, guys. Good night. Happy weekend. Happy weekend, teacher. Bye. You too, guys.